heading to Southern California for another speaking thing. And uh, yeah, you know what? I think I wanna make the travel just a lot faster this time. And here I am, I'm in the hotel. That was awesome how fast that was. Um, little known secret, you guys, YouTubers and podcasters, we get teleport capabilities. I have had a cup of coffee and a cliff bar. This is kind of my intermittent fasting thing that I've been doing. I didn't really eat anything until about, well, four today. So then I was jonesing for a coffee and uh, pulled up to the hotel and there's a freaking Starbucks in the lobby. Boom. So I'm like the pain in the ass customer at Starbucks. Mm. I will never do a Pike's Roast. I think it's crap. And so I always insist on a, on a pour over and they don't ever like it. They always kind of scowl like, okay, okay. But if you would just serve dark roast, you wouldn't have to bother with the pour over. Went over to the event earlier, and of course they didn't have any of the stuff I sent down, so it, it, whatever. Events tomorrow, tonight, hanging out with an old buddy of mine and meeting her husband, one of the perks of travel, man. I get to see people in person, so she should be here any minute. And then tomorrow is day one, I speak, and also day two. So I got, I got work ahead of me. Definitely gonna hit the fitness room. I would run outside, but that's what that looks like. Frankly, the terrain is not so inviting for a run. Yeah. Hi. Whoa, what's that all about? Oh boy. Janky. <laughs> hey, hey Mike. What's up? Good there? to meet you. All right. Right on. How's it going? Good. Well, that was freaking fun. And now uh, to bed. Long day tomorrow, Q&A in the morning, gotta get my talk together, and uh, 99. Good Saturday morning. I am going to take a short run. Then I got a live Q&A. Then I'm gonna get a cup of coffee. Then we go to the festival. Hotel full of people, not one person in the fitness room. Oh, eight for me. I was gonna help you out. You could. <laughs> Eleven minutes till my live Q and A. Back in the room. A little sweaty. Good workout though. Little uh, resistance training. Twenty minutes on the treadmill. Do some interval there. It was good. I felt really good about doing it. A cup of coffee coming soon. Boom. Q and A went great. Good group as always. Now I'm going downstairs to get a little brekkie and then heading over to the event. Like 0.2% of people had fruit. People always go like, what do you eat when you travel? Let me tell you something. Fruit is food. I know that's shocking. I know it's just like, oh man, it's fruit. It's food. If you eat enough of it, you get enough calories of fruit. I'm gonna slice up a little banana mix it in with the pineapple, and have myself a little morning pina colada, tropical reggae band kind of on a cruise morning. That's what I can create with just a quick uh, hotel buffet. Look how gorgeous that is.
Elo. That's a good name. I love you guys. Let me talk to mom real quick. All right, I love you though. I miss you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Long but good day. Presentation was fine. Tomorrow morning, another talk and the full day and then I'm going home. I am so very, very late. I had a semblance of a relaxing morning this morning and it was a little bit addictive. And now I'm late and I'm gonna hopefully lights out, be there on time. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna be late. This Uber driver from the map on the phone looks like he's driving in the middle of a building, from what I can tell. I need to be there in two minutes, and he is gonna be here in over five minutes. So yeah, that's it's not good. Busting out right now to get a cup of coffee. Whew, there are so many freaking people here, you guys. It's crazy. Good day today, I am back at the hotel. I'm actually gonna do my podcast tonight, I decided. So I am now going downstairs to print out my notes. And I think the hotel policy is that I have to buy a beer when I'm down there. It's very weird, but I don't wanna, I mean, I don't like breaking the rules. I am set up, I am ready to record, doing the podcast tomorrow, I'm flying home. I gotta tell you, one of the highlights of this weekend was the Uber driver who drove me home back to the hotel today. Couldn't have been more friendly, totally like dropped me off to where I could pick up food, waited for me, just super friendly, and it just goes to show you. Grand gestures are great, big acts are great, but when just a, the littlest, just little, doesn't cost anybody anything, nice behavior makes my freaking day. I'm sure he felt good about it. I hope he did. It just kind of gets you thinking. But I guess the question is, how can we maximize those little times? Mm, gosh, I don't know. Maybe by taking better care of ourselves so that our overall stress is lower so we can actually behave the way that feels best to us and makes a difference in the frickin' world in the best way possible, right? Okay, now I'm gonna record my podcast, episode 215, woo! Hello, small steppers, Sid Garza Hillman here. What'd you think of that intro? <laughs> 